So we're going to start with our with some blue and then we'll slap some purple on there with it like this just do it real messy it doesn't matter don't worry about blending it a lot put a little bit of brown in just to tone it down a little bit and we're going to use our blending brush in a minute to blend the background and that's how you get a background that looks kind of like the background on an oil painting which you don't usually see on acrylics because they're different kind of texture so just keep mixing these three colors just slap them on here don't worry if they're blended real well or not and then once we're done we'll add a little bit of white here and there but we don't want to put too much white on it right now so just do the whole canvas Then you're going to take either your blending brush or another soft brush that you have. It can just be a, a bushy brush like this or, um, you know, I have my little cosmetic brush that I use. But you can also use a flat brush if you need to that has that's kind of soft. You don't want anything that's super stiff. And then you're just going to start doing this, just going around and blending all this. If you get too much paint on your blending brush, then wipe it off on your paper towel. Okay, now I can see too much white showing through on mine, so I'm just going to take my blending brush and I'm going to put a second layer of paint over it to make the white go away. general guidelines you won't have to you know stick with them totally but it gives you an idea where to put your paint that I think will make it a little easier in this particular instance and then this one is gonna go over here like this and come down so you've got three of them that look like that and then you're gonna put another one on top over here about the same size so, like that, and then this one comes up almost even with that one, so I would start up here and then come down to your thing like this. Don't have to be perfect, and this one is smaller. So this one is more a little more circular and it comes up not quite as high as the middle one and it's smaller. So then over here, we're not going to draw in we're not going to draw in all of these things. We'll paint those in freehand cuz they would disappear under the paint anyway. So now we're going to do this little guy over here. So this is like a little bud. So it just looks like that. And then you're going to go across and do like a little teardrop shape sort of okay yeah. 
And then we're going to do one coming out of the side here, same thing, except curve it up a little bit. Like that. And then we'll do one more over here, and it's a little short, stumpy one. So you're pretending that you have a line going up here like this, and then it's invisible, and you're doing the petal. Okay. And then you'll do another petal next to it. Then you're going to do one more little one in behind here. And then we'll come over to this side and we'll do this little one. It has a point on it like the other one did and it comes straight in like that. Then one more down here. Start at about halfway on that petal and bring it up and around like this so it kind of comes up toward that. So then all you have to do is put two petals in the front here. So you have one that's kind of curved like this and loops around, comes up. It's kind of bubbly on top like that. And then another one next to it. Don't worry if you draw over your lines right there. It doesn't matter because this will be in front in the painting. And then let me see if I can hold this up. You guys can see better what I'm doing. Then you have another one that curves around in front of him and comes to a point like that and stops right there. This one curves around in front of him like this and it's kind of flat on top and comes back down. One in the back here that comes to a point like that. Then you have the front one, which is another curvy one like the other front one was. And you have one that comes up like this. So you can see my drawing is not exact, but it's the general, same general idea as the drawing. So your drawings, unless you're going for a photographic look, your drawings don't ever have to be exactly the same as your picture. Pictures are just the guidelines. I find sometimes that I really need to have a picture. It's hard for me. I can paint some things out of my head, but not a lot. So let me show you here kind of the shades that you need to have, okay? So we're gonna start with a little bit of black and some of this green. We're gonna tone it down a little bit. So I may take a little bit of yellow too, because I have that black in there. I wanna get it more of an olive tone. So you see how this is? So you have it kind of that color. I'm also gonna mix some that is darker than that with more black over here, because I wanna get a slightly darker one, so I'm gonna put a little more green in there, but not make it as bright as the other one. Then we wanna have this, we wanna kinda of keep some yellow over here and add it to this green to get a, a light yellow green color. So if you just stick your brush, actually the same brush you're using to mix, into the yellow, you'll get kind of a lighter color. And then we'll use that regular green too. You want to blend them together. And then you want to take some yellow or the yellow green and add it over here. And then you can, you can go in there and you can actually streak in some more color to make it interesting. 
Next, we're going to go to this one over here. We're going to do the middle one last because it's the one in the front. So do the same thing again. Start with your dark, <clears throat> your dark green. So anyway, then you go paint the middle one. Make him a little bit lighter so he pops more. So now you're going to do the next ones. Get down here to the bottom. You kind of make this flat, so it's like it's sitting on top. And just keep mixing more green as you need it, and don't worry if it's exactly the same shade as what you had on the other. So once you get your basic um, cactus looking the way you want it to, then we'll leave it alone and we'll start working on the flowers while it dries. And then we can come back and add, um, we'll add the, uh, the thorns, obviously. But I came back and I actually dry brushed a little bit of orange on them and a little bit of other colors, but I didn't want to try and blend that. So you do that on top after after it dries. So this is a little bit of red and a little bit of brown that I'm using right here. Just tone the red down a little bit with by using the brown. And it's just kind of sitting on top of that cactus leaf or whatever it is, branch. I have no idea what you call those. Okay, so once you get that on there, kind of like that, then just leave it, and we're going to go ahead and start working on the flowers. Now, the flowers are, let me show you the painting. We're going to paint them one petal, one petal at a time, and we're going to start with the back petals and then work our way forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with kind of a red or a dark orange. And we're going to stroke them in, and then we're going to take some yellow and work it down this way. And then that's going to be our first layer on the flowers. And then we'll let them dry while we're doing, doing the fancy stuff to these guys. And then we come back and put a little more uh, interest on them. So basically, we're going to do kind of a flat, flat painting with them right now. We just need to make sure that we start with the back. Mix a little bit of red and yellow to kind of get an orange color, too. So you want to get some orange. You don't need to mix too much because you'll actually get some when you, when you start blending the yellow. It'll turn some orange when you start blending the two together. Okay, so we're going to take practically uh, straight red. If I can find my red again, there it is. And we're going to start with the petals that are behind. So what we want to do, see this petal is in front of these petals. So we want to start with the behind petals. And we're going to just run along the side like this with some red. Then you're going to take a little bit of orange. 
and stroke it in right here like this. Just follow the shape of the petal. Say, make sure you go over your lines. And then what you're gonna do is take some red and uh, red, some yellow and some white and mix them together a little bit so that you get, cause remember how transparent yellow is? You can't paint over this blue with just straight yellow. So you're gonna have to add a lot of white to it at this point. So take some yellow paint. So you take some yellow and white and you go in here, and if it doesn't cover it exactly the first time, don't forget that we're gonna come back. So, and what you wanna do is just stroke it down like this so that you have kind of the petal shape coming down into your, into your red. Now, if it's turning pink, that's okay. Mine's a little pinkish too, as you can see. We'll come back and add some more orange to it when, in a little while. Right now, we just wanna stroke in the petal. And you just do a few little strokes like that. Just try and cover it up. Then we're gonna look for another petal in the back. So I will go with this one back here because it's in the very back. Put a little bit of red and brown back here. Like that. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna put some over here on this one too. Might as well work on two of them at once because it's also in the back. That way, when you have the color on your brush, you can use it. And then just put a little bit of orange or pink or whatever it's coming out right now. Like I said, there's all different color to, colors of cactus flowers. Just keep looking at your petals. So once you've done those, then you can come over here and work on the back ones here, and then we'll go back because otherwise these are gonna get um, blended together. So let's go over here and start with the back ones back here.
once they dry, you can go back in and add a lot more detail. So just bear that in mind. This is not the final way they're going to look. This is the, uh, the preliminary. Okay, so you can put, you know, a little bit of brightness over here on these stems if you want while you have some orange on your on your um, brush. Just kind of, just lightly brush it over the top. You're not going to paint the whole thing, but for example, I have some black drawing lines here, so I'm kind of covering them. So you just want to streak that a little bit. Now you'll notice some of my petals are slightly different colors from other ones and that's what you'll do after it dries you can just go back and touch it up with the color that you want but at least now you've got your petals um, individualized so you can see what they are so the next thing you need to do is you need to take um, a little your little pointy brush and and dip it in, we're gonna mix up a little bit of brown and white to make the little um, dots where the, where the cactus goes. And it's kind of in a row, sort of, but not, not, too, um, not too much. So what you'll do is you'll go like this. Now I'm showing you how to do this, but I would not recommend that you do it until you've finished putting all the colors on your cactus that you want. But I'm just showing you how to do it and then it'll be in the video because I'll finish up this painting for the video and, and post it probably tomorrow once I get done editing it. And you're just going to put little dabs like this that are going to be where the thorns or the whatever they are, needles are going to be. You don't want them to look too much in a row but they do kind of grow around the edge. And you can, you can put some over on the outside here like this too. So you're going to do it on all of them. Like that. And you're going to put them all over your, your cactus. You will also go ahead and put a few little, like, um, little spots on here too. Like this. And... Oh, we forgot to do the bud. But you do the bud the same way you were doing the flower petals, except it's just a bud. So you're just going to um, make it darker at the bottom and a little bit brighter up at the top. And then when it dries, you're going to streak some more color on it a little bit. So what happens is you guys can keep on painting your petals and stuff, but I'm showing you this other stuff and then I'll... So you would do your petal like, or your uh, bud like that, and then just take a little bit of yellow and streak it in there on it to make it more orange. So that's how he looks. So, um, the other thing is, I'm going to show you the technique for doing the um, thorns, just so that you can see that. If you have a small kind of flat brush like this, you can use it. Otherwise, you can use your fine brush, but you do need to make sure that you do the petals or the, the bristles like this. And then make sure your brush doesn't have too much paint on it. And then you're just going to go like this. You put it right here and you lift it up. And just put a couple of them different lengths in each one. Make some longer than others. So you can use whatever you want to, whatever brush you want to, to get that effect. And make them go all sorts of different ways. And you're also going to want to um, make some really short and some like this coming out the side from behind. Once you've got all your petals done the way you want them to be, which mine are not yet, you want to take some yellow and some white again, and I would add a little tiny bit of red to it just to get kind of a golden color. You're going to put in your center here. Now your front flowers are in front of the center, so 
This is just little strokes like this for the little um, parts that are in there. So you do that, and then you take some straight yellow, and you're gonna go on top of it like this, just making little, a bunch of little, little lines like that for the front part. It'll work better if you wait to do the yellow until the orange is dry. I'm just uh, showing the technique 